morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arm with the Stocks Switch Review in Costco. Really nice trade. I called it as an equity trade today and as the calls for the option. Called the 225 calls and then the equity trade called this morning twice. This chart is very nice. This is a bullish gap. Now, normally, I focus on bearish gaps. An interesting thing is today, the market, the market's really trying to hold today. The market's trying to hang on very, very well. In fact, over 274, the SPY will hang on, and over 171, the Qs will hang on today and close green. Costco didn't need the market today, but this definitely um, would have worked either way. And the market gapped down, this gapped up. The market fell initially, then it's rallying now. But either way, Costco would have lurked as long, had a lot of conviction in it. Shook out a little bit here, made this tail early on, but a very nice call in this and a beautiful move up. So targets for this today is 228, which it already got to. So over 228, 229, 230. 230 would be a big target for this today, but it's could, could likely happen. And with the help of the market, that seems very, very likely. So this is going to try to lift over the high. Previous high was 228.01. It's going to do it. 1046 for early in the day and a bullish move by Costco. And I think this has some nice follow through higher here, even in the next several days or possibly next week. But the market could affect it if it doesn't continue right away. It's because this has had a big move today has had a big move and uh, and is having a big move and it's very strong and this was a great example of institutional buying should institutional buying in the gap up today in costco okay so it's very important to look at these things and determine what to do next where's the buying where's the selling based on institutions not day traders day traders tried to do this today you can see it here in the morning to short it thinking it was going to fill the gap right in here right in here it was a long it was not a short so i look for the gap I rate the gap in the morning. If the gap rates 26, 20 points or more to, per my 26 point rating system, then I will take it in the direction of the gap. And in the case here of Costco, it was a long. So really, really nice call today. Huge conviction in this and it, and it worked. Conviction helps you trade. Anyways, have a great day everyone. And um, if you're interested in the Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.